Hi everyone, Jim from Javelin here with a SolidWorks tech tip. I'm going to be designing a, uh, a small assembly line with three stations and I have a, uh, an image here that I've created or that my, uh, my sales department has created with the customer in order to kind of get an, an idea of what this layout is supposed to look like. However, if I create all of this in a top level assembly um, it's going to be a fairly large assembly. Ideally, I'm going to have three sub-assemblies, one for station one, one for station two, and a third for station three. However, within each of these sub-assemblies, I want to be able to know where the other two stations are. So to keep track of all this, I'm going to use something known as a skeleton part. For a skeleton part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a part that basically has this sketch along with a bunch of reference geometry in it that I'm going to place in my uh, top level assembly and I'm going to place it also in each of my in each of my sub assemblies for stations one through three. Let's take a look at how this is done. I'm going to start off in SolidWorks by creating a sketch on my top plane and in this sketch I'm going to drop in my uh, my three stations and the conveyor as well. And I'll add the appropriate dimensions. Okay, I've added my dimensions. And this this is sort of a layout sketch, if you will. You can kind of think of it as being a layout sketch. Now, the neat thing about this is that if I were to, you'll notice that my conveyor length is defined as being six meters. So this way, I don't end up in a situation where I could accidentally change the width of this station three from one meter to two meters. I would immediately notice that my conveyor is no longer going to be long enough. Okay, I'm also going to add some reference geometry to this including planes that indicate where the midpoints of these stations are and planes for the heights of my table, my conveyor, my floor, and my bowl feeder. So let's do that now. So I'm just going to basically take, say, my top plane and I'm going to offset it a certain distance. Um, let's say my table height is 36 inches. So I say OK. Now, while all I'm really doing is I'm just selecting the plane and I'm holding down control and I'm dragging the edge of that plane in order to make a quick copy of it. So my table height, no, that was my table height. This is going to be my conveyor height, which is going to be, let's say, one meter. I probably want to label these pretty early in the game, so I'm just going to rename them by double clicking on them slowly. So this is conveyor top. Tabletop. So yeah, I can either I can either rename them by double clicking on them slowly, or I can select it and press F2 on my keyboard, and that will allow me to uh, to rename it here as well. So I'm going through. I'll just uh, I'll just maybe maybe another thing I can do is I can go into my layout sketch, and maybe I want to drop a center line in the middle here, and that center line will serve as the basis for my uh, for my plane at station one at which point I can say make a plane that's collinear with that line that's perpendicular to say the top plane. I'm going to go up to reference geometry plane and that looks good. So I'll call this one station one center plane. And I can just go around and do do that with all of the uh, all of the other stations. Okay so let's save this And I'm going to save it in a folder called Skeleton Project, and I'm going to call this one Skeleton Part. Now let's create a new assembly. And in my new assembly, I'm going to insert that skeleton part. So now I have that skeleton part, and I have all of these other planes that I can use. So let's let's pretend that this is um, that this is going to be station one. So I'll go file, save as, and I'm going to call it station one. So I'm just going to be focusing on this area here. So a lot of my mates are going to be applied to 
things in here like say my station one center plane or my tabletop or conveyor top or any of these other planes so that I can design this station. 